Within this lesson, we will use visual models to add two fractions with related units. These are those with the denominators of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, and 12. Here we're asked to add 1 half plus 6 eighths. Will the sum be more or less than 1? Right, it will be more than 1. Let's go ahead and draw a number line. We'll go ahead and label the whole numbers and the larger unit. The larger unit of halves or eights, halves are larger. So we will label those larger units. Here is one half, and here is one and one half. Next, we'll decompose the larger unit to show the smaller unit. So we're decomposing each of those halves to show eighths. That half is worth how many eighths? Right, we multiply the numerator and denominator by 4 to be able to get 4 eighths. So we're going 4 times the number of units. We're breaking apart those halves into 4 eighths by drawing 3 lines. So now our number line is now broken up into 8 pieces in between each of those whole numbers. We have now made our number line into those smaller units. So it shows to add a half to six more eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six, six eighths. Draw the arrow and write plus six eighths. Again, I started with adding a half plus 6 eighths gets us there, which is 1 and 2 eighths. So we had 1 half plus 6 eighths equaling 1 and 2 eighths. And if I write that into simplest form, that is 1 and 1 fourth. Again, that was 4 eighths plus 6 eighths equaling 10 eighths and 10 eighths does equal 1 and 2 eighths, and as above, I can simplify that to 1 and 1 fourth. We did estimate and think that the sum was going to be more than 1, and in fact, it was. Let's go ahead and add these two fractions without using a model. Our larger unit is fifths. So we will decompose those larger units into those smaller units of fifteenths. So four-fifths equals how many fifteenths? Right, I multiplied by three in the numerator and in the denominator to decompose four-fifths as twelve-fifteenths. At that point, I add together the eleven-fifteenths. Uh, 15 and 12 and 11 is 23. Decomposing 23 15 that breaks apart into 15 15 and what? Right, 8 15 So that is 1 and 8 15 So our sum is 1 and 8 15 We rewrote our answer as a mixed number. And that mixed number is in simplest form. Okay, it's your turn. Go ahead and figure out this problem. Be sure to write your answer as a mixed number within simplest form. Pause the video while you do your work. Did you keep 7 ninths the same? Did you decide to rename two-thirds into ninths? How many ninths would it equal? Right, six ninths. So you're working with ninths. You would have 13 ninths 
which also equals what? Well, it breaks apart into 9 ninths and 4 ninths, so you have 1 and 4 ninths. Read the whole number sentence with me, along with that answer. 7 ninths plus 2 thirds equals 1 and 4 ninths. Let's do one more problem here. Here we have 4 fifths plus 7 tenths. Let's use tape diagrams to solve this one here. Modeling 4 fifths first. The whole bar is equal to 1. We've got fifths, and we will shade in 4 of those 5. Right below it, we'll draw one more bar. Also start with fifths there, and we're going from fifths to tenths. That's why we will multiply by 2 in the numerator and in the denominator. This right here, where we have renamed the larger unit as it, those smaller units, is where we draw one line to separate into two parts. So we have that named as tenths now, and in fact that is renamed as eight tenths. Down below that, we will also look at tenths because we are adding two eight tenths or four fifths, seven tenths. And so we will shade in seven of those. Five, six, and seven. So we have eight tenths plus those seven tenths equaling, that's why I have a question mark there, equaling 15 tenths. Rewriting that as a mixed number, that's 10 tenths and five more tenths, which equals one and five tenths. I'll write our answer here is one and five tenths in simplest form. We'll divide the numerator and denominator by five and make sure to write those holes there still. So we get one and one half. Four fifths plus seven tenths does equal one and one half. The key, of course, is to get like units so you are able to add. And also express your answer within simplest form. Sometimes drawing, tape diagrams, visualizing it with a number line can help us with our work. Please use a number line to show your work here for 9 tenths plus 3 fifths. Is our sum more or less than 1? Right, it would be more than 1. Did you start with fifths or tenths? You start with the bigger unit. So we start with fifths. We started with three fifths to be able to add nine tenths to it. So here's plus three fifths. Yes, you could have modeled the nine tenths first and then added the three fifths. And then to get from fifths to tenths, we would multiply by two in the numerator and in the denominator. So three fifths is actually six tenths. And then so we have drawn so that we have now gone from fifths, that larger unit, to the smaller unit of tenths. Next, I have to add in the nine tenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm ending right there. Draw my arrow. Write in plus nine tenths. And let's see what that is. Well, here's one. One tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths. So that is one and five tenths. So I have six tenths plus nine tenths. <clears throat> nine tenths and six tenths equaling 15 tenths, which equals one and one half. Check over your work.